<laughs> Today's gonna be a good one. Today's gonna be a good, good one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Got uh, Mr. Jose Ramon here with me today, and uh, we have plans on going out for a deep drop. Our target species for today are gonna be a black belly rosefish and we're looking for golden tile. That is, that is our, our main target. So we found some some spots um, on our last adventure uh, where we were able to get on some rosies and we know that where there's black belly rosefish, there is golden tile fish because the golden tile fish eat the black belly rose fish so we're hoping that this spot produces for us today i'm also going to dig into some really cool stuff out deep and what you need to know to get on to these fish we're just a few guys decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of pompano beach florida we want to fill you in on what we have learned along the way So I had my Seaborg 300 matched with um, a prototype rod that I was trying out. Um, Adam from Witch Doctor, who is who is our rod guy, um, built this rod, and I and we discussed about having this extra long rod, which this rod is is almost nine feet long, um, and being able to lift up to that height and pull the scope out of your line. I'm thinking that this gives you uh, more action on the jig uh, versus the the um, shorter ones like the 6'6 or even the Pro Jigger 7 foot. Now, I'm still testing this out. I can't give you guys my uh, opinion on it yet because I don't know exactly how I feel about it. Chill. You guys chill. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I let the little guy go, but the big guy is definitely keep him. Black belly rosy. Hold that up for the camera right there. There, who put some black belly? I'm black belly. See how long it takes to reel up, guys. I just started reeling up. Here we got. There he is. That's keeper. Yeah, it's another rock. Right belly Rosie. Check them out guys, black belly rose fish. And uh, I'm actually using just uh, one hook on top and uh, one hook on bottom today. And um, I'm using a little bit bigger hook because my, my goal really is to um, not catch the black belly rose fish even though as much as I love them and I enjoy catching them, I'm hoping to get a tile fish today. So, uh, so this is a good start because we're getting into the black belly rose fish and we know that um, we're in the zone, we're in the right spot. And I'm actually, I'm using a, a bottom weighted jig today to see if it uh, gets down uh, fast, ideally. So uh, cool, so this is a great start to the day. Uh, Jose's got a double uh, header on the on the black belly rosefish, two, two for one actually on the black belly rosefish. And uh, I got a nice one. This will go in the cooler and uh, these guys eat very well. Yeah. My background is a little bit on uh, marlin fishing and offshore fishing. But always my passion since my grandfather has been bottom fishing and grabbing those fish that, you know, for the, for the table, you know, for the family, feed the family, feed friends. Uh, 
And we've been tinkering around with the deep dropping with the handheld and once I got with the SBJ slow pitch jigging, it made a big difference. What a simple way to fish. Only a bag, a couple of rods, and we're on, you know? It's been a game changer. And now, you know, being a little bit older, I've gone into some electric reels, uh, very small electric reels. I'm using, to give you an example, guys, I'm using uh, three different reels that I've been testing myself. The Banix 500 and the 300C, great reels at a great price point. And then I got my baby, what I call my baby, it's a Shimano Beastmaster EJ2000. Uh, it's a 2020 reel. It's an amazing reel. It's got a lot of different features oh, that you can use. Yeah. Down there. Yep. Oh yeah, that's a tile, baby. Get him over here. Get him over here. That's a tile. That's a tile. That's a tile, Get him over here. fishing that depth, you gotta get that slack out of the line. Which many times you thought the line was way, way out there, but as, you, as soon as you felt that hit, and that, pro hey guys, that Power Pro Jigger 4, the feel you got, even at that depth, it was amazing. Uh, the way you could feel it, and then you cranked up or even hit the, the fast speed on the retrieve on the reel, and you can see as the load was loading up, loading up, and taking all that slack out, we were almost vertical. It was amazing how the day progressed, or the wind, the current, and everything. You thought your jig was way out there, but it was just a big belly hanging out. But by using that thin line, and that feel of that Pro Jigger Power 4, it really, really worked and made a difference. So we just reset our drift. Um, went right back, we're doing basically the same drift. Again, it seemed like we kind of moved off of uh, the fish, so we're gonna see if we can't limit out. So uh, two per person, I'm sorry, one per person uh, is the limit on golden tiles. So we're allowed to keep so whether Jose catches or I catch it, we're allowed to keep two on the boat today. On my reel, I have it packed with 15 pound test Daiwa J braid, which is an eight strand braid. And that line was actually working well for me. I was getting down well. It's a very thin diameter. It's a very strong line. And then attached to that, I had a 30 pound test fluorocarbon and I was using uh, 12, 10 to 12 feet on that and I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up in the future because I did have a big fish on and the um, the fluorocarbon popped on me and I believe it's due to teeth on the tile fish probably rubbing on the fluorocarbon um, popped it off so I think a good option like Jose was talking about would be to shorten the length of it, but go a little bit beefier. So I'm thinking somewhere around six feet of fluorocarbon, uh, 40 pound test or even 50 pound test uh, would be a better option than doing a long 30. So that's something that I'm gonna uh, dig into a little bit and, and see see if that's, that's working. But I believe that's gonna be the right option and the right way to go. Go. Here we go, boys. Let's see if it's the correct species. Let me go behind you here. Sorry, Johnny. And then I was using a 500 gram uh, torpedo, so it was gold and white stripes um, with single assist hook. I was using a uh, owner single assist hook uh, 7 0, and with those hooks, um, being 7-0, my idea was that I wouldn't catch as many rosies, but I was hoping that 
um, I would be more likely to hook into a golden tile fish by using the larger hook. Hey, how are you doing? It's starting, right? Yeah. I'm just going slow, guys. I'm, that I'm might be him. Yeah, yeah, don't rough it. Finesse in a while. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna rip the hook or anything. He's coming off the You saw the sun. Yeah. That's a golden. You just saw the sun. You didn't like the sun. <laughs> yeah, golden in. Yeah. I think it's a golden, baby. <laughs> Looks good. What do we got? Let's keep steady. We're going to steady. And then walk back, remember? I got a feeling golden tile fish. Um, this is a highly sought after species, like they're very delicious. Um, they call them a poor man's lobster actually. And this was this was the fish that, you know, Jose and I set out in the morning to go catch. And don't get me wrong, I do not turn my nose up at a black belly rose fish. As a matter of fact, it's, it's on the top of my list of fish to eat. Um, for me, it, it actually, is reminiscent of, of crab, like snow crab or something like that, and, and I absolutely love it. Granted, you don't get, you know, huge fillets off of it, you know, but it's worth it. It's worth it to clean this fish and, and take it home and cook it just because of how delicious it is. So we, we started fishing guys around, we left at nine, we didn't get here fishing till about 10, really, to the fishing grounds, and, um, Right now it's 12 o'clock, and I'm gonna I'm gonna check. We're we're limited out on golden, but I'm gonna check my battery and see. I'm at I'm at 64 percent. So we could have went the full day. Yeah, I'm at 65 percent, guys. So I mean, I think we're about the same. Yeah, full day. Awesome. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And once again, jig on.